Okay, and so we wanted to go over the phones. Uh, you know, I was cruising my uh, Facebook uh, because a lot of people are sharing a lot of things about uh, how they're dealing with COVID-19. And uh, one of my Facebook uh, friends, uh, Christy, had uh, posted here that, um, yes, I tested positive for COVID-19. Yes, it's scary. I'm definitely one of the lucky ones. My family kicked butt when things got real. Thank you to everyone who checked on me. Sorry if I didn't get back to everyone. I've been in and out of sleep. I uh, can't wait to spend time with my family without the barrier and go back to work. I go. And uh, in this post, uh, she included a, a bunch of different uh, videos. And I wanted to get her on the line to um, kind of share this experience. Good morning, Christy. Good morning. Um, so you're calling from uh, New York. You're out there in New York, correct? Yes. Where are you originally from? Here in Guam? I'm originally from Anigua, Guam. Anigua. Who's your family, girl? Uh, between the regalios and <laughs> the cruises and the ten caps. <laughs> so what is your last name? Because I, I know your Facebook handle is Christy Marie. Yes, uh, my last name is actually Wolf Necklace. Wolf Necklace. <laughs> um, yep. Okay. And um, so you tested positive for COVID-19. Can you take us back to uh, what this experience has been like for you? Um, so I'm a nurse. Um, I got it from work. We have been testing people since it started coming our direction. And just so happened that one of the patients got it. The scary part is that everybody has different symptoms. Some people have some, some people have none. And when all the employees on my floor started getting it, I got tested to be on the safe side. And then I was considered positive. And literally that day was when my symptoms started. Wow. You said- so It was like pretty much being guided through the dark almost, it felt like. So you're a nurse, you got it from from um, where you were working at the hospital, right? Or the clinic? Yes. I'm sorry? Uh, I work at different um, locations, but where I got it from was the nursing home specifically. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, well, people want to know. I mean, I, I saw your Facebook post. I saw the different uh, pictures. Uh, how How... How sick did you get? And just share what this experience was like and, and actually having this uh, virus. So um, on social media and the news, people, they kind of only tell you to look for a fever, a cough, and a tightness in your chest. But mm -hmm. I had more than that. Mine was more so the body aches. Um, I couldn't, I can't smell anything. I can't taste anything. Um, but I think the worst of mine would be the fever, the body aches, and the cold sweats at night. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about the rest of the symptoms that may go with it. They only talk about those top three. So a lot of people think they have the flu when you probably have the virus. Mm -hmm. So you're oh. walking around. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're walking around. So mm -hmm. at, at, um, when did you start to suspect that you needed to be uh, tested? Um, I had an inkling last week, Thursday, because the nurse I relieved, she had to go home. She was not feeling good at all. And when she handed me the keys, I don't know, I just had this feeling that Things were about to get really ugly, and literally right, it was like right from Thursday, it just went down. Coworker after coworker was testing up positive, and then come Saturday, I started to feel a little like indifferent, but I thought maybe it was just stress. So Saturday night, to be on the safe side, because I'm around my family, I need to know. I went and got tested, and then Sunday afternoon, I was told that I was positive. Wow. And then did my symptoms started. How, how did that work? How do you go and get tested? She's a nurse. Oh. So it's it's really confusing and it's very different. I'm a healthcare worker, so I call ahead and I let them know where I'm at. They ask me a set of questions, and if I'm if I fit a criteria to be urgently tested, then I'll get tested first. But also because I'm a healthcare worker, I get uh, expedited right, instead right. of waiting so many days. It was literally the next day. Were you when you were working? Um, were you wearing personal protective uh, gear? Yes, and I wash my hands so much that it, it sounds like sandpaper. <laughs> Mine are almost there, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so you took all the precautions that you were told to take as a healthcare worker on the front lines of this uh, thing. Yes. And you so. still got it. Yes, I did. So uh, can you give us a, uh, an idea about uh, your, your state of health? Are you, uh, how old are you? I'm 31. Okay, do you, are you, you know, pretty healthy? I'm actually very healthy. Um, I don't smoke. Um, I drink very rarely. Some, if I do, it's, it's really not, definitely not often. 
Um, I go to the gym very regularly. I run six miles at least twice a week. I'm very healthy. <laughs> Wow. And so, I mean, uh, this this uh, virus that took you for a ride and, uh, you know, imagine the elderly like coming from a nursing home. Those uh, people, this uh, this thing, it just runs through uh, people with pre-existing conditions. And, you know, the crazy part is I had the flu about three and a half weeks ago, and this is nothing like the flu. <laughs> Can you can you tell us you know being in New York uh, you know we had Dr. Cabrera you say that's the epicenter right that's the yeah. epicenter right now so we had Dr. Felix Cabrera he's one of the doctors that's advising uh, the governor on this uh, COVID nineteen thing and he had uh, I interviewed him the other day and he said that Guam is three weeks behind where New York is now now being in New York what can we expect here on Guam it's gonna feel like. Uh It'll get here when it gets here. It doesn't seem as drastic, but literally when it starts trickling towards you guys, it's just going to start to feel like panic. And everyone's going to be cautious of each other. No one's going to want to be near each other. It's you know, like when I come home from work, I don't like the past week, I didn't hug the kids. And it's just kind of like, don't come near me. It's just, you know, it's just, it's, you just kind of build up this little sense of guard. Um, I would expect that the grocery stores will probably be empty. Um, I would say get all the essentials, the Tylenol, cough medicine, heat pads. That's what I would, I would definitely tell everybody because luckily my family is just very on at Supersonic, so I don't, not everybody's like that. Mm -hmm. So you uh, isolated in your room away from your children? <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm in, um, so we have a side room, it's kind of like a den. Um, my family put up this, they got a big sheet of plastic and from Lowe's. And they put it up, they put, they covered everything, they took out anything that would, you know, collect too much germs and stuff. And it's just me in here in a, with a bed, a, a little leather couch that's easy to clean. Um, I got a lot of fluids in here. There's a little bathroom that only I use. Um, and I have a window, so if I can open it for fresh air. But this side is my side, and I can see them from the other side of the plastic, and we just talk to each other. <laughs> Wow, and so this is something that uh, we're we're coming across on Guam is that when we're getting COVID nineteen positive patients, they're sending them home for home isolation. Uh, you know, kind of on the assumption that they have a bathroom, and so they're putting uh, people up in hotels. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, I thought that was a really good idea because they're actually equipped for room service and isolation and div division between people. I thought I thought that was actually a great idea. I think New York City's actually about doing it or not doing it already. Yeah, I think it's in the Javits um, Center. It's like a convention center, I right. think, where the uh, Army Corps of Engineers went in and they retrofitted the whole uh, facility. Uh, tell us, uh, I mean, you know, New York, uh, it's all over the news uh, with Governor uh, Cuomo. How, just how bad is it there? I mean, you've got your uh, you know, boots on the ground, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm not anywhere near New York City. Um, I'm in upstate New York, um, but just where I'm at, the the roads are very bare. <clears throat> I'm not used to saying it this quiet. Um, neighbors are definitely not outside. <laughs> um, the grocery stores are empty. There's no medicine anywhere. Um, it's just it's just very empty. Everything's closed. Restaurants are closed. The gyms are closed. Um, some of the schools they're being closed till the end of April. Out here. Have you been? Uh, they, so, they have this thing called telemedicine too. So instead of going in, the texts come to you. Yeah, we have that. We got telemedicine too. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> what, what would you say? And, and how long have you, is it going to take you to be kind of cleared of of COVID nineteen? Because uh, we're hearing on Guam that seven patients have made a, a full recovery. But you know, and what I'm reading uh, on the internet, just how fully recovered people who have had COVID nineteen. Uh, can be is I don't know if that's still something that's uh, up for questioning. Mm, so it's kind of, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm not really sure. I know the Department of Health. Um, they want me to be home at least seven days, and then from seven days they're going to check on me. Um, my job, however, wants me to be home for 14 days. But the Department of Health here, if I feel good in four days, from four days on, I have to be. No symptoms, no fever, no over-the-counter medication to help me for three solid days. If I'm good for one day and I start that second day, my three days start over, and I'm not considered clear until I'm three solid days clear of everything, all symptoms. How many days are you in now? Since 
So I started Sunday, so I'm only on day three. <coughs> okay, yeah, I can hear you coughing. Well, I'm going to sanitize the phone after this. <laughs> Uh, do you have a message for your family uh, here in Guam? I saw that you, you had a lot of comments on your uh, Facebook post, and, and maybe not just for your family and your, your friends here, but uh, for those, those people out here who are, who are scared. scared about you know catching this uh, virus, which is uh, so contagious, what would your message be to those people? My message would be to just stay calm. It is scary, but prepare prevention, and being prepared is the number one key to getting through this. Be on the same page with each of it and everybody that you live with, your family, your friends. Make a plan. Have a designated room for whomever is sick. Discuss who touches what, who doesn't touch anything. Kids stay away. Elderly stay away. There needs to be someone like um, like right now my brother's a, I call him the circulating nurse because he's the one that goes from room to room to make sure everybody's okay between me and the kids. And just have a plan. It's going to be okay. And it just it's it is scary but if you're prepared you'll definitely be okay with it but don't don't feel like oh my god it's here and then just kind of like run around like chicken with no heads that that's my best advice okay. get medicine get everything so you don't have to leave the house gas your car just any little thing that'll distract you because when it gets there the last thing you need to worry about is those little things okay. like even sit the kids down and have a family meeting so the kids know when uncle's I think Hello? we might have lost her. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thanks. So yeah, Christy. Interesting. Uh, a nurse in New York. You know, I'm sorry. She said New York. I in being tomorrow. I just think New York is New York. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was in New York. She's like, no, I'm in upstate New York. I <laughs> thought it's all the same place. Uh, Nine fifty-five. Big news day. Yeah, it is a oh, big yeah. uh, news day here. Are you ready to? You want to? get to work in the back or you got anything else to read out here i got nothing else to read i mean yeah obviously i do but um it's time to go yeah to decompress okay (laughs) uh so yeah that's it containing covid uh the kum